Welcome back to Weekend Edition. I'm Dave Delgado here with Andy Wheeler. Now, PXC 54 in the record books. Great night of fights as usual. Let's talk about some of the fights now. Mark Abelardo coming in with a big finish against his Japanese or Korean opponent, Jung Bun uh, Choi. Yeah, Abelardo is just so strong and so fast for that weight class. And uh, he completely dominated uh, that fight. Ended up with a huge, brutal uh, body kick that uh, I think rocked his uh, opponent. And then he ended up putting him away. So Abelardo definitely uh, making a name for himself in the PXC. Well, training camp paid off for Shane Alvarez going to Cali with Frank the Crank Camacho getting in some work there. Uh, big win. He much needed win after suffering two losses in a row in the PXC cage. Yeah, it was. And uh, the guy, uh, Yerusha, that he fought, no slouch at all. Standing up, these guys really went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Yerusha standing with them and uh, Peekaboo right there. You can see that the training, like you said, paid off. It really paid dividends. And uh, he's back on the winning track. And he says, hey, he's got, a, he's got a new mentality now. So look forward to seeing a lot more of him. Well, Riley Dutro winning in stunning fashion calling for the championship belt he wants the 125 uh 125 pound title uh really exciting fighter to watch a guy that packs a lot of power in his punches yeah absolutely he does so uh you know calling out for the title every one of these guys you know they don't step in the ring without wanting that title shot uh and so he just you know went public said hey i want it so you know what he's uh definitely earned a spot he's earned a, a mention in the conversation so you know what we'll see what pxc has in store for him Rogan Walker, 4-0 now. Another decision, win, unanimous decision of, against a very tough Kate De Silva, though. Yeah, very tough Kate De Silva. Uh, one of the better pound-for-pound -pound fighters in all of Australia and New Zealand uh, came out here. She's black belt in jiu-jitsu. And Brogan has done so much to her game. She was talking to us that uh, in camp, she wasn't focusing on Kate De Silva. She was focusing on what she needed to work on for her game and just, you know, tighten everything up. And it really showed. She was able to control almost all of the fight. Uh, almost got in a little bit of trouble there with the arm bar. But uh, as she mentioned to us, she's been working. They've been putting her in situations like that where she needs to escape. And her game all around, I think, has really come a long way. She didn't get the finish, but she did get the unanimous decision. Well, Frank the Crank moving up a weight class back to 170 pounds. Things didn't go his way, though. He ran into a very tough Han Sol Kim in that 170-pound division. Very, very tough. Uh, you know, Frank bouncing back and forth between weight classes. Uh, this is more of a natural weight for him. But you can see just with the size and the reach advantage of the Han Sol Kim. And uh, Kim's striking was just so on point today. I mean, changing everything, coming at different angles uh, and really precise. And so I think uh, he's got a lot of power behind it, too. Obviously, Frank, we know, has got a good chin. It's hard to knock him out. And uh, Kim just was able to daze him and just keep pursuing him and keep coming at him and ended up getting the win. Roki Martinez hopefully putting an end to the chapter with him and Kelvin Fitzial. Got cut early, was able to weather the storm and stay in there for the win by decision again. Yeah, what a, I mean, the way this, the, the words exchange in the faceoff uh, right before they, uh, they started the fight. And you could see Kelvin coming out with just this anger in his eyes and this passion. He was really motivated. He wanted this win so badly. Uh, but it is a really big win for Roki. He's on a five-fight win streak now. And he has said that now he's, he's ready to close this Fitial chapter and move on. He's got other things planned with uh, PXC, maybe making some moves. So uh, look forward to uh, seeing a lot more Roki Martinez. All right, well, make sure to catch all the highlights from PXC 54 on Monday. We'll bring you all the action on KUAM Sports. More Weekend Edition right after this.